So here in Colorado, our first, uh, in fact, America's first openly homosexual governor uh, happens to be Jared Polis of Colorado. He just signed into law two bills, House Bill 1032 and 1192, both of which require uh, mandatory homosexual lectures to children in public schools. One of them, it's a requirement for graduation. You have to learn gay history on top of American history. In fact, uh, the teachers, because they're always pressed for time and under, under pressure, they're gonna have to neglect teaching about traditional things like Paul Revere, instead teach, uh, like you suggest, uh, you know, Mayor Harvey Milk, uh, and they're redefining all of the textbooks. I think the Illinois bill you mentioned talks about all the textbooks have to carry gay symbol symbology. For example, even mathematics now has to have lectures about homosexuality. It doesn't make sense. But years ago, this would be you know, pedophiles recruiting and grooming children for their own, you know, perverse pleasure down the road. Why don't we see this as a illegal measure of, you know, recruiting children into sodomy? Uh, you know, I think that's exactly how we should see it. In fact, uh, years ago, these people would have gone to prison for this sort of stuff, you know, ex exposing children to obscene material, uh, grooming children, exposing them to sexual and indecent material. Uh, that's a crime. In fact, that's still a crime on the books in many states today. Uh, Indiana recently passed another law saying it would be a felony to expose children to obscene material, and yet these laws are not being enforced. The government schools all across America are still exposing the children to this stuff. It's getting more and more obscene. And uh, I, I think quite simply, uh, they have accomplished a radical transformation of the culture using the government school system with kind of air support from the far left media and from Hollyweird, you know, the satanic propaganda, the filth, the LGBT agenda that comes out of all these places. Uh, and, you know, the consequences, we can already start to see what's happening. You know, we see the breakdown of the family skyrocketing uh, abortion numbers, school shootings, uh, you know, the collapse of our society, the collapse of our civilization, the erosion of our liberties. Uh, you see, you know, women are no longer prepared to be wives and mothers. Uh, men, young men are no longer prepared to be husbands and fathers. Uh, it is, you know, an abomination. It's a tragedy of immense proportions. And, I, and honestly, I don't think our society is going to survive another generation or two of this if we don't get a grip on it.